guys and as you can tell from the title this isn't really a video I planned on making or is going to be fun to make. Oh come on. Okay so let's start off with this afternoon. It was 68 degrees to get to 75 this afternoon. Thought it'd be the perfect day to bathe her, get some of that winter hair off that's loose but doesn't come quite up. I'm bathing her Stay tuned for the end of this video to see that bath, but keep in mind that bath was before I knew she had vice. Little backstory, a week or so ago, I found a couple tiny little bugs. They're white with a red head on my saddle pad, on my girth, and I checked her over after I couldn't find anything on her. And so I kind of just literally brushed them off with a brush and thought that was it. Thought maybe we went through some brush and picked something up. No big deal. Fast forward to today where I'm bathing her. And when I get done, there's like these little white and red things on her. And I'm thinking maybe it's pine needles. Maybe it's dirt that I missed. And so I call my mom out and we notice they're bugs and they're moving. And so my mom takes one in, in a bag to my grandmother because my grandpa is 90. And um, they've had horses their whole life. So my grandma didn't know what it was, thought maybe it was a worm. So then I kind of typed in the description of what they look like onto Google. And horse slice popped up. So I immediately called my vet. And it's Sunday, so everything is closed. Left a voicemail on the emergency number. And a detail of explaining what it looked like. And she calls me back and goes, yes, Keisha, those are lice. Here's what you need to do. Now, before I get into the treatment option, please remember there are multiple different types of lice for horses. So what may work for Kamani in this treatment may not work for your horse if you think they have lice because there's a couple different types. Now, from my understanding, horse lice cannot live on humans. They can crawl on you and live for a certain amount of time, but they're not like going to get in your hair and stuff like a human lice would. Because our hair falls are all different. Horses and humans are different, so they can't live off of a human. But if you go in and pet your dogs and your cats, they can jump from you to your dogs and cats and survive off your dogs and your cats. Just like a typical flea or anything like that. So us humans are kind of immune to them blood sucking on us, but they can live on us without blood sucking. They'll just go to our animals. Oh crap, I'm gonna have to shave her. <laughs> Luckily, I don't, uh, but she does have an infestation, so I cannot ride for, I think, three days, just so that, I mean, I can ride, but it, the vet recommended, hey, like, you know, she's going to be super, super itchy, it's not fair to her to carry a rider, get sweaty, have a saddle pad rubbing while she's itchy with lice, it's not fair. Now, she was spotless because she had a bath, but like I said, we contacted the vet, the vet told us we needed to go in as quickly as we could. It's not emergent, but you wanna get the medicine on as, as quickly as you notice it. So we turned her loose when she was still wet and she got really muddy and dirty again. That's fine. So I'm gonna show you what I'm using on her due to my vet's recommendations. We have checked the pony, couldn't find anything on him, so we're gonna keep them separated, like we already do. So this is what I'm using. We purposely bought this because it works on dogs and horses. So we have dogs, so we definitely wanna get something we can use on all of our animals. Now we did get a little 32 ounce bottle, which was $14 in our tax store. And we also bought a huge gallon which was forty dollars in our tax store now the reason we got so much is one we want to be prepared if something happens with the pony and two we want to have quite a bit so that if it takes multiple treatments we have it now i also read online that lethargic can be an indication of horse size now she has been bigger the last few weeks but i thought that's because i upped her food but now knowing she has lice that's probably why so i don't know if you can see those little dots the tiny dots are eggs we'll say before we go spray her the bottle says to groom her so i'm going to do that let me mention how she got them 
Um, so, and the bath. So, first of all, the bath, the vet said, it's actually probably a really good thing. I did it, one, because that's how I found them, because they're really hard to see in her thick winter coat. And two, it probably relieved a ton of itching, because the whole bath, she was, like, biting the fence like it felt good. So, the bath actually probably got a lot more off than I knew about. And how she got them. So, uh, I did not know this. Like I said, own horses my whole life. So how she got them, guys? Get this. It's not from taking her out on trails, because we've only went down the road. It's not from taking her newer places and letting her graze around here. It is from wildlife. It is from turkeys coming in and eating with her. It's from deer passing through her pasture and laying down. Turkeys bedding down in here. It's from the rabbit sleeping with her in the barn. It could have been a rabbit laid down and she went and laid down beside it or went and rolled somewhere near that and it jumped off the rabbit and jumped on her. Like, it's crazy. So the vet told me not to fright, not to worry. A lot of horses this time of year actually have lice. Okay, let's get her sprayed. She's not gonna like it because there's a lot alive in her forelock. And for her face, I'm gonna have spray on my hand, obviously. So you don't wanna get this in their eyeballs. So it took me 11 minutes to fully douse her. She stood still. Now I might have overdid it. I sprayed pretty much that whole bottle and then I rubbed it in. Now I did that much just because I didn't notice them until she was wet and I only seen them on, my, on her neck but she's been itchy everywhere. I even did it in her tail, in her mane. And the reason I did so much is because she still has so much of her winter coat. I wanna make sure I'm getting them all and killing them. So I'll do this for a few days, see how she's doing, and then maybe give her a bath to get all this out when the bugs are gone. Let's see. So right here, right here is one. It's hard to see. There's more right here. There's a ton right here. There was one that just fell off, so it's already working perfect. Now the good thing about this is you can use it as a regular fly spray too, so it keeps regular flies off, ants off, it keeps horse flies off, not spunts, but I wish I was right about now. She looks scruffy, but you know what? It's going to make her feel so much better. So it's 68 degrees, supposed to get to 72. Warmest day we've had. It's actually like a dead heat in the sun with some wind, which will help her dry. She's going to get her first bath of the year. Now, I've had people try to tell me that if I wash her now, her winter coat will stay. I've washed horses always this time of year, and it's actually helped get their coat out. So, I guess it's your own personal experience. All soaked up. I don't soap her face. Um just because she's at the point where she still doesn't like the hose in her face, so I want her more comfortable before I ever put soap on her face. Hard to see the soap, it's kind of soaked into her coat. But she's all soaked up and ready to be rinsed. Rinsing time. I'll see you guys when she's rinsed. Well, I'm gonna go in and take a shower and wash my hands. I'm gonna turn her loose, feed her her dinner. And uh, yeah, guys, it's a learning experience with horses. I'm actually gonna douse her halter down too after I get the off of her. And I hope you enjoyed seeing her get a first bath of the year. Like the vet said, it probably made her feel really, really good. I just wish she would have stayed clean. 
But when we get rid of this lice, then we will definitely do a good hardcore bath to get all these chemicals out of our coat. So if you guys want to see that video, give me a few days, comment down below though, and let me know if you want to see a good deep clean bath on her when we get rid of these lice. Pray for Kamani guys, I've never had anything like this happen. It's educational and I thought I'd share it with you. There you go, that's what happened today that we found out. I don't know how long she's had him, I don't know. There's no way to really know. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and learned something and we'll see you in the next one.